Good noonday, YouTube world, guys and gals of the YouTube world, handy men, handy women that do a lot of stuff on your own. I just installed this door. It's not trimmed out on the inside, but I want to show you something. So I just put that in. This house uh, just had uh, this door going in and comes into this porch. And these windows, they leak and everything. I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do with this porch. Am I going to tear it off? Uh, what am I going to do? But anyway, putting this door in right here. So I got a door going into the house. So I wanted to show you that I put a little four by four block down there, put some uh, wedges here, here, and I've got screws in those wedges. Got them here like so. Well, what I really wanted to show you was this right here. I had a, a guy commented one time uh, on one of my videos, I think on Facebook, I believe it was, might have been Instagram. And uh, I was, you know, putting trim all up down, wedging, you know, a bunch of stuff in and whatnot, trying to take up the space so when you screw it in, it didn't spread it out. And he was saying that he used this stuff here to fill all that in, that it does two things, that it insulates it and then gives it, you know, rigidity or rigid or ness or whatever, you know, it pushes out against it and holds it good. So we're going to try that on this door. I've never done that before, but I wanted to show you this little system I picked up at uh, Home Depot. And I like this. I used it some last week. And then I used it again this morning on the crack down in the floor before I set the door in. And uh, you open this thing up right here and uh, you shake your can up real good for about 60 seconds, it says. And I've already shook it up some this morning, so it ain't going to take 60 seconds. But you regulate how much is going to come out right here and how fast you want it to come out. And then when you get done with it, you just turn this over close this valve off and it's ready to use the next time y'all probably seen it before but anyway we're going to try this system out like uh that guy told me about filling this full of this stuff the other thing i like about it when you let go of that trigger it quits And they were saying it did a really good job of insulating it in because I was always stuffing insulation in them to uh, take up the space so that it didn't uh, let air around it. And I'm just barely pulling the trigger. I can pull the trigger and it'll really come out of there. to give you a look at it. So I think that's going to be pretty cool. I think that's going to work good. So I just wanted to give you a real quick video uh, showing you doing that. You see, it's just not holding water. And you fill it up with water, try to put some in it, and it will just go right down pretty quickly. So as you see, I had it on time lapse, but I mean, that was just, uh, I mean, three minutes at the most, it's lost its water. So we're gonna pull this toilet, I'm gonna to set it on a bucket, put some water in it, see if it'll hold water. That's gonna be my first test. When you're going in, you're gonna to wanna to glove up. You don't wanna go down there without no gloves on. You wanna turn the water off down here. Get the water off. Majority of the water out. Get your wet back.
So the toilet is pulled. You always want to have your little rag throw over that hole. You don't want something to go down in there, knock something in it, drop something in it. Plus, uh, there's not a good smell that comes out of there. But I've got the toilet setting up on a, a bucket here. And we're going to put some water in it. We're going to see if it'll hold water. So here we go. We're going to add water. We want to do this slowly. We don't want it to flush. And the water's running through. The water's running out. So that tells us there is a crack in this toilet. And it's a brand new toilet. Bought it at my local hardware store. So there's why it won't. That's why it won't hold water. It's every bit running out. Of course, you're not going to be able to see it, but you can sure enough hear it. And that's where our problem's at. So that means that there's evidently in this, there's a hairline crack that is letting it get air. So we're going to have to put a new toilet in. And that is a new toilet. And as you see, it's about drained all the water out. And it's going in the bucket here. So that's where our problem's at. Y'all have a blessed day.